Hey everybody, Steve here with uh, Press by One. Uh, today we're going to do a 30 roll challenge. Uh, I know you've already know I've done a 30 roll challenge, but there's two reasons why I'm going to be doing this again. First off, tomorrow this table is going to be different. Uh, I was very lucky, uh, King Dice, who's got an amazing channel. If you, I'll link it down below. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you need to go watch him. He has some amazing advice on throwing. Uh, but first of all, he was in town. He's in Vegas. He's from the uh, Colorado area. He came to town and uh, he came over last night and spent a number of hours uh, with my wife and I, Gabby and I, uh, a couple of our neighbors, Chris and Monica, and then uh, Jeff is actually a dealer at one of the local casinos. And then uh, King Dice brought some of his, some of his crew, uh, Emily, uh, Kirby and Jeff uh, were over and we had a great night a lot of fun uh, but two things were discovered during that time which is why I'm doing this throw today first off he gave me some suggestions on how to work on my throw great suggestions I haven't had a chance to practice them very much since this just happened last night but the other thing we talked about was improving my table my table is a bit bouncy a bit soft so my throws are a little bit more randomized as a result. So this evening he's going to come back over with his friends, and uh, we're going to redo my uh, we're going to redo my table, the underlay of the table, and and uh, make it where it's a, a more realistic table. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take some of the suggestions that he gave me yesterday, start trying to implement them, see if there's even a little little smidgen of improvement uh, in my throws uh, before I get all the practice. But I wanted to do it on the same table that I did last time. Because as of tomorrow, if I do a 30, uh, 30 dash roll, it's going to be on a new table. So here we go. Let's just get this going. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, try to implement some of the things that he said. He recommended first off that I change my dice throw. Uh, usually I throw uh, two finger uh, in the middle. Uh, that's it. I used to throw uh, two fingers in the thumb. I used to do three finger throw. Uh, but then I found that it kept separating. And so I moved to the uh, just the two finger, middle finger, and thumb. Uh, but what he's recommending is a very light, light touch, barely any skin contact, using three fingers and the thumb. And so that's what I'm going to be working on today. He also recommended a lot of times I would find I turn my turn my body a little bit. He said make sure you really stay square. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, he also recommended that when I do my when I do my back swing. I go back just a little bit, just six inches, go back six inches, don't even lift my hand up, just kind of drag it along the felt. And then when I throw, I'm to throw right about there. And I'm sure he's going to look at this video and say, you're still not doing it right, Steve, but it'll take practice. KD, King Dice, give me a chance. I'll get there, my friend. I uh, appreciate your, uh, your words. And then when you release, you keep your fingers out. Uh, just like in a baseball, you know, when you throw a baseball, you should kind of keep your hand, you know, facing forward. I do the same thing. I have a real ha bad uh, habit of as soon as I let go, I bring my hand back down. That influences the trajectory of the dice. So here we go. Let's do this. Let's get this, uh, let's get this party started. All right, before I actually have to work. Here we go. First throw, my friends. Starts off with a 6-4-10. 6-4-10. I'm throwing the uh, 2V, by the way. So outside numbers is what I'm looking for. Next throw. Yeah, it was great having him over last night. What a genuinely nice guy. Just genuinely nice. He's gonna go with a low arc, a hard six with a very low arc. In fact, you could ask, where was the arc? And the response would be, I don't know. Uh, get it? Noah's art. Ha! <laughs> That's just funny. That's a dad joke right there. If my kids watch this, they're going to groan. All right, get it set. Oh, I put, I didn't need to mark that one. I'll mark it after this. And 369. Yeah, that, uh, that bounce is what I'm needed to get rid of because it's, you don't see those uh, balance. I mean, I'm very rubbery. There's for the last one. There's the nine. I'm very rubbery on my table. So we'll get that fixed. We'll see a, a brand new table. Things will be good. 
two, one, three, crap three. Uh, I don't normally throw the the 2v set. Just decided I would do it today. I'll give it a shot. I like fives and nines a lot. And so that's why I thought I would do it. Oh, bad grip. I went back to my old style. And snake eyes. Aces in both places. Oops, I forgot I ran into, forgot I had a chip over there. And now I've got two chips over there. Here we go. That's the first five rolls. Five rolls, but it would only be three uh, payouts. That was a nice looking toss. Snake Eyes again. So that actually would have paid me some money. Actually, both of them would have paid me some money. Normally, whenever I hit a, uh, whenever I hit at the casino, whenever I hit a, a craps, uh, craps number, I will follow it up with a bet because a lot of times craps follow craps. All right, for me at least. Here we go. One, three, four. One, three, four. Uh, doing well on the, uh, what do you call it? Doing well on the all tall small so far. At least it's on the small section. I got the two, I got the three, I got the four, I got the six. We just need a five and we get the small part down. Normally I do a 10, five, 10 on the all tall small. And speaking of 10, hard 10, I'll take that hard 10. And normally on uh, fours and tens, I will uh, parlay the first hard. I don't parlay the six and the eight. I take the money, but I often don't bet on them either because I normally I, I hit a lot of sixes and eights. And I'd rather just... Instead of keep setting that uh, 246, speaking of six, instead of just, you know, continuing to, oops, it just rolled on me. Oh, they both rolled on me. 246. Getting crazy with the uh, stick. Instead of keep setting up the, uh, so like a case in point, instead of just keep setting up the six and the eight, I just like to invest it in betting. I'd rather put a place bet on it than a parlay. But the, the fours and tens, I like to parlay those. Oh, that was a pretty looking throw. Six, four, ten. Six, four, ten. All right. All right. My son just came out, but he's going to go back in and he's going to eat his breakfast. So he's just waking up. All right, here we go. Keep on going. I think I marked that one. I'll check it in just a second. There we go. Boy, that was a pretty throw. Three, five, eight. You know, I really like his approach, uh, King Dice's approach to things because what he's getting at is he's saying, let me make sure real quickly, that was a 10, yeah, two tens. Uh, what he's getting at, he says, you need to approach this like an athlete approaches, you know, sports. Uh, you know, they get out and they practice every day and they practice the small things. It's not about, you know, doing everything all at once. So he recommends like, you know, practice your dice grip, practice your dice grip, practice that backward motion, practice the backward motion, practice, you know, coming up and making sure that it's, that it's flat. Uh, so he recommends just taking it step by step and then, you know, start putting it all together. Obviously, after just a few hours of sleep, I haven't put it all together yet. Oh, do you see that? I don't know if y'all can see that, but that ace, that uh, 617, by the way, the, uh, the, the one just it was a spinner. Anytime I see a spinner, I feel like I'm dead meat. Uh, unlucky with that one. But hey, 12, 12 rolls? That ain't shabby, my friends. 12 rolls, and it was one hit, two hit, three hit, two crap. Three crap, four hit, five hit, six hit, seven hit, eight hits. So eight hits, I would have made money 
because what I try to do is I try to go five hits and then pull down. Five hits, pull down, get my profit, play with casino money. That would have been successful. Here we go. And four, five, nine. Four, five, nine. We will take that. You know what I should do? I should level set real quickly, make sure that I'm, I'm getting all the numbers correct. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So uh, I'm missing one number here. So I've got a ten. I've got the hard six. I've got a nine. I've got a three. I've got a double ace, double ace. I've got a four. I've got the hard ten. I've got an easy six. Oh, and another ten. So that's so I've hit three tens. All right, cool. So we're back back on target, and nine starts the second round. Okay, continuing on. Simple things sometimes. When well, you know what's hard is when you're trying to do a recording. You're trying to keep it entertaining, and interesting. Um, easy to forget the small things. Golly, another two, another double on the ones. That's phenomenal. That's our third one of those, and we've only thrown 14 times. Those of you who are playing craps, craps, I'm just playing horn. You are loving me, man. All right, let's see what happens. It would be curious to go back and see this video. And look, I followed, I followed with an 11. 5, 6, 11. I tell you, a lot of times when I throw one, I throw another. They come in pairs or more than pairs sometimes. Oops, 11, let's mark it. Boom, marked. All right. 15, th actually 16 throw coming up. Hard six, three, three, hard six. That's our second hard six. First, since we threw the, uh, threw the uh, last bad number. Here we go. Six, two, eight. That's the fourth number hit, fifth roll. Change that third roll, third number hit on the fifth roll because I had the two and I had the 11. Here we go. Too high of an arc, but he gets a hard four. That was, I, I let go too late on that one, but I still did well. So I'd be parlaying. That hard four. What's wild? I still not hit a five. Still not hit a five. That's crazy, man. Five is avoiding me. Here we go. Better throw. And a hard ten. All of a sudden, hard ways are coming out. All right, hard 10, so that's our fourth 10. So that would be parlay. So I've got 80 bucks now on the four and on the 10 for hard ways. The hard three I would have collected if I had been betting it. And a six, that's why I would have collected it. Yeah, but the uh, it's also gonna be fun. So tonight we're gonna fix my table I think he's going to live stream some of it. Uh, we're going to fix the table. We're going to throw some. And then Saturday night, the crew that I, uh, some of the crew that I, I gamble with uh, here at uh, in Las Vegas, Red Rock Casino, where I gamble most, uh, we're going to get together for a, a final practice session before the casinos open back up on the 4th. And I think King Dice is going to come and join us for that too. So it's going to be fun. Oh, that was a nice looking throw. God, nice looking throw. Four, three, seven. I felt good about that throw. It looked pretty, but a four, three, seven. That's okay. Because again, a winning hand 
because we did, we had a 10 hit, craps, craps, six, that's two, eight, that's three, four, that's four, five, that's five. So that's where I would have pulled down. Next one is six, I would have parlayed it. So I still would have those five hits. So I've won money on both of my uh, desks. I got sevens. That time I went nine throws before hitting the seven. Uh, but I made money. And isn't that the name of the game? I don't care if you throw if you throw 50. If you're not making money, who cares? Low throw. 369. We'll take that. Still haven't hit a five in all of this. Crazy, man. Crazy. There's the nine. All right, we're on our final eight rolls. Final eight rolls. Six, five, eleven. B I N G Yo. So, so far in today's uh, throwing, we haven't thrown a five or a twelve. Five or midnight. Neither one of those have been thrown. Midnight's not that, you know, makes sense. Five makes no sense. And, oh, look at there. Yay, team. Three, two, five. Five is alive. Finally. Five's like, what? Were y'all waiting for me? You waiting for me? And by the way, uh, oh, shoot. We had that seven. Never mind. All right. We were about to say we just hit the all small, but no, we didn't. Hard six. Boy, if I could just stack two of those hard sixes together, maybe I would uh, parlay it. That's my third hard six. Final five rolls. Again, taking King Dice's advice, starting to try to implement them even though I need to do thousands of hours of practice and throws. I think he offers some very sound advice right off the bat as a 369. Very sound advice right off the bat that you can start implementing in your own throws, in your own gambling, and uh, hopefully make a difference. Here we go, two, four, two, one. Easy slide, easy toss, hand, keep your hand up. Two, four, six. Easy six. Boy, we're, we're blasting that six, which wouldn't be expected with this dice set, but that's the way things go, huh? Nice looking throw, one, two, three. I liked that throw. I do not like the fact that it ended up with a craps. By the way, that was, uh, I think I just already had my, I already got my money back, didn't I? Uh, 639 was a hit, craps, five was a hit, six was a hit, nine was a hit, six was a hit. Whoops. So I would have pulled my money down right there. I would have already had my money pulled down. Uh, so I just made my profit again. So three, three times out. I made profit all three times. I'd be a very happy camper. Four, six, ten. Four, six, ten. Nicely done. And then last throw. Here we go. Number 30. Let's finish strong. Give that five. Hard four. Hard four. Do we have a hard four in this set? No, we did not. So, uh, oh, 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 we got a runaway chip right there. All right, so there we go. 30 roll challenge uh, on my old table, but using, using uh, King Dice's advice. Uh, so let's look at a couple of things real quickly. So first off, uh, what did we end up? We ended up with uh, four tens, two of them hard. We ended up with four nines, 
none of them hard. Two eights, none of them hard. We had six sixes, three of them hard, three of them regular, one five, two four, uh, three fours, two of them hard. And we ended up with six uh, craps numbers. We had two aces, two one twos, two yo's. We threw two uh, sevens out of the 30, so I'll take that. I am curious about something, though. Uh, I am curious to see, and we also know, is because we were going as we went, uh, I did make money on each one of the hits. But if we were to look, let's kind of pull these over where we can see them. If we were to look to see, like, you know, the where the points were on this. So we started off with a point of 10. We followed it with this, and I always work on the come out roll. We know that. So that would have been hit one. Six, nine, three was not a hit. Two was not a hit. So the point is still 10. Four was a hit. 10. So I hit a 10 on the fifth point. So the next come out roll would have been a six. And I would have been working. So that would, have been, that would have been fine. And then we hit a 10. We hit an eight. And then we hit a seven. All right. So that was a clean, that was a clean break. We had one point. Okay. Next throw we had, uh, we started off with a nine. That would have been working. We would have had the aces, we had an 11, we had a six, an eight, a four, a 10, a six, and seven out. So we never got a point on that one. We just uh, went out. Next one, we had nine as our point. I would have been working because I'm silly that way. 11 was nothing, a five, a six, nine. We hit the point with the nine. And then six is our new come out. Would have been working. We had a craps. 11, oh, sorry, 10, and a 4. So really, we didn't hit a lot of points in this, uh, but we didn't need to. We made a lot of money. Uh, you know, hey, maybe uh, I'll go back later and I'll put down in the, I'll put down in the, in the, uh, the notes, in the description, how much I would have made if I had been doing my regular betting, because we all know my regular betting is, um, what is it? It's uh, 300 and... 320. I do 50-50, 60-60, 50-50, 50. Uh, I'm not going to do anything on the uh, hard ways just because that's a little more complicated. Uh, I'll just do the, I'll do that 320 across and we'll just see how much money I would have made. I'll put it down in the description. But for now, hey, King Dice, thank you for the suggestions yesterday. Uh, I like them. Uh, I'm going to keep practicing them and hopefully I'll continue to see results like this. Can't complain about having, you know, two sevens out of 15 rolls. Can't complain about having, you know, if you look at it, you know, I had 12 rolls, you know, out on the 12th, uh, nine rolls out on the ninth, and then I had nine rolls and still rolling. Um, not gonna argue that one bit. All right, anyway, that's all we've got. Uh, hopefully I'll see you a little bit later as we rebuild this beautiful table. Uh, again, this will be like the 28th time I've, I've tried to fix it again uh, between the base, between <laughs> just everything. It's a never-ending process, but I'm excited about this and having King Dice over uh, with his friends. That's it. Y'all have a great rest of the day. Bye, y'all.